So after all that, I have to sadly announce that this is where the road to greatness ends. Oh man, wait, hold up. We got that lighting. Let's do Let's equalize this lighting a little bit, just just like old times. Um, first things first, good freaking morning. Good freaking morning to the Climate Crew, and if you're new to this channel, my name is Kyle, and this summer I tried to make a video every day about life, fitness, adventure, and I was just trying to make the summer the best summer I could because this was the last summer of my teenage years. I wanted to be the fittest I've been. I wanted to have the most experiences I could. I wanted to make connections with people and I wanted to be just really happy in general. And I am super proud to say that I've accomplished all of those goals. And this is, uh, let's, let's talk about this summer. Many of you know that I started this series to make sure that this summer didn't go to waste. Love me. Oh, I need someone. So here we are. It is June 1st, 2017, and officially the last summer of my teenage years. I'm on a journey to have the greatest, most kick-ass summer of my teenage years. To make sure that I challenge myself to pursue these goals and not be potato, starting today, I will try to make a video every single day un until the end of summer, because then school happens. I figured if I made a video every day, uh, I would have no excuse to be sitting on my ass and just wasting time. I wanted to get fit go on adventures, create memories, connect with people, and in general, just be as happy as I could. I got really fit. I ran miles and miles with a vest, without a vest, with a shirt, without a shirt, got really weird tan lines. I ran so much that my body was like, dude, slow down, because I literally got shin splints and I had to stop running. I did a lot of weighted vest work, a lot of calisthenics, and I made friends along the way. Let me just make sure that we look good here. Adventures, man, I went on so many adventures. So many, adv hold on so many adventures. I can't do that as fast as I want to because my wrist is messed up, but like so many adventures. I went to crazy car meets. I got recognized in the street by a fan, which is like, I never thought that would happen, but I developed this community of such awesome people. I traveled halfway across the world, literally. I helped kids in poor provinces with school supplies. I, I scuba dove with amazing people. I swam in waterfalls. I partied on a paradise island and I met such amazing people there and I I made wonderful memories and I met amazing people first gear. I jet skied on that island the night after intense partying I jet skied like who what what kind of a what kind of an adventure what kind of a summer is that where I I partied for five hours and I got an hour and a half of sleep and I was woken up and my cousins were like, let's go, we're gonna go jet skiing. And I was like, okay. I got on stage at a beauty pageant. I met models and beauty queens. I got mobbed by girls at the club, which never happened to me in the history of forever. I rode on sketchy Ferris wheels. I ate amazing food. I faced my fears and I jumped off a cliff twice. And I did all of these things and so much more. Let's do let's do a camera change. Hold up. We're gonna do a little bit of a handheld action here to really to really capture the vlog. You know, I'm doing a little bit of everything. Anyway, through all these adventures, I created so many memories with so many people, friends, some of whom started off as complete strangers and family alike. I got closer to people I've known for years. So many people I've known for such a long time, and I didn't think we can get any closer. We got closer. We managed, and we created memories. That would last a lifetime, and if these memories fade, they're all on video. Hashtag filmmaking. And lastly, I made connections. I just, this is my favorite part about this whole vacation, is just making connections. Starting with the people who watch my videos, you guys, the Climate Crew, or if you just happen to stumble upon this channel. This summer started off with 400 subscribers, we're now almost to 650. That's insane, like, for someone who does this for fun, gaining 200 subscribers from this summer, is amazing and I thank you guys for that. We faced a lot and I mean a lot of setbacks mostly from YouTube's and when they were deleting subs like one time they deleted 50 subs from me in one day and we made it back in like two days and from those hardships the wall squad was born. This, these 40 legendary people who left these amazing comments to help keep me motivated. If you're on the wall I am so grateful. I am just so grateful to you because 
Most of you left these long comments about how I shouldn't give up and how you love my content and how I helped you get through bad days and all of that. It was It's not just to boost my ego, it just shows that I'm making connections and I'm making a difference, which is what I want to do. I, you know, you can't change the world, but you can change someone's world, and I hope that I changed your world in just the tiniest way. And then, apart from my internet family, they're the friends who I have here in New York. Who I got closer with, Anthony, Jonathan. Anthony, you still haven't let me drive your freaking car, but I will one day. Maybe we'll do like a car swap. And Jonathan, who throws water balloons at alarmingly fast speeds. Like, do not, do not get into a water balloon fight with this guy. And of course, there are people in the Philippines who, although I've only hung out with this year, just got so close with it, I don't know how I've survived summers without you guys. JP, Christian, Fritz, Owen, Natalie, Clarissa, and Etta. It feels like we've been hanging out for years. That's crazy. Here's some more summers with you guys. And of course, I gotta give a shout out to the original gang. Mara, Cheska, Enzo, Matt, who hasn't been home in like forever, but still part of the OG. Like, damn, that was so much fun. We had so much fun. Allie and Divine, cause like, though we aren't related, you guys were over at our house like every day. You pretty much live there. We we kidnapped you and we had so many great adventures. I can't I can't put into words how amazing this summer was and you guys played a part in that. So after all that, I have to sadly announce that this is where the road to greatness ends. For this season anyway. Don't worry. There's going to be more road to greatness because there's always more goals to set in the future. But this is where this daily vlog series comes to an end. I've accomplished all my goals that I've set for this summer and I've set new ones like getting a WRX, reaching a thousand subscribers, world domination. With all that being said, I just wanted to thank everyone who was part of this journey, this epic summer. If I didn't mention your name, I apologize, but you know who you are. I have nothing but gratitude and love for those who came into my life and interacted with me in any sort of way. It was amazing. Um, thank you all for the support. Thank you if I met you in person and if you were part of this summer, just thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. If we didn't get the chance to meet but you still like these videos and you commented and we interacted, thank you. All you guys are amazing and it really gives me drive to work hard so I can have more summers like that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. This has been The Road to Greatness Season 1. Whew, that's a wrap. That is, uh, what do I do? What do I do with my life now? Just...